Okay, hi there students. Here we have a writing at level C2 for the CPE. And here's the question. A film magazine <coughs> has invited readers to submit reviews of films which are set in the future, but deal with themes relevant to today's world, such as our relationship with technology or environmental problems. You decide to submit a review briefly describing such a film and explaining why its themes are relevant today. You should also consider how important it is for films set in the future to say something about contemporary society. Write your review in 280 to 320 words. Okay. Review by Vyacheslav. In recent years, <clears throat> we have seen enormous advantages in artificial intelligence endeavors, which is a matter of concern for many people. Artificial intelligence endeavors. I guess it works in endeavours in the field of artificial... No, I'm going to take it. Artificial intelligence endeavours, it works. This is understandable because the plots of many fictional movies revolve around relationships between the human and the machine. Okay. Today, I would like to discuss one of these films called Ex Machina and try to figure out what can be learnt from it. OK, so let's see. There is nothing wrong here at all. Now, I want to try and make it fractionally more natural. In recent years, we've seen enormous advantages in... endeavours... related to artificial intelligence, which is a matter of concern for many people. This is understandable because many, because the plots of many fictional movies revolve around uh, relationships between humans and machines. So notice this is just making it feel more natural. Today I would like to discuss one of these films called Ex Machina and try and figure out, bit informal, what can be learnt from it, figure out. The actions of Ex Machina take place in the near future. So, actions, I suppose so, but no, events. The events of Ex Machina take place in the near future. The protagonist is invited to assist a scientist in his research because he has created artificial life and put it in a robotic body looking like a gorgeous woman. So, there's nothing wrong with this here. Um, he's created and put it in a robotic... Uh, uh, looking exactly like a, a robotic body. Let's try something so that is the exact recreation of a of a gorgeous woman. The more the main hero interacts with the AI, the more he gets convinced that his moral duty is to help her to abscond, abscond from her cell the more he gets convinced, mm. the more 
<clears throat> so the more convinced he is that his moral duty is okay it reads better like that unfortunately for him in the finale the robot manages to escape but the protagonist gets trapped instead gets it's okay nothing wrong is trapped instead is trapped instead these days there are many debates about artificial intelligence so many debates many's not wrong but let's see there are there are vehement debates vehement debates yeah about artificial intelligence because it seems because it seems that AI is taking over the world good the overriding threat good word is that humans will lose their job <clears throat> and be forced to scrape by due to the pr proliferation of artificial assistance artificial assistance artificial intelligence um we've used ai already um <clears throat> artificial assistance artificial i'm going to leave assistance i think artificial robots proliferation of robots proliferation of technology artificial creations beings uh, machines technologies artificial technologies this is yet another movie in which technology is depicted as a threat to humankind but does it mean that we should be scared of know thee of progress generally know thee I think that's the first mistake first of all everything shown in fictional movie should be taken with a huge grain of salt very nice sentence some aspects may be hard may be hardly called true to life some aspects may be may hardly be called true to life because they are not scientific whatsoever however some useful takeaways might be extracted for, for such films even though we cannot foresee a future a future it's got to be the future because there's only one there are various different ones the future we surmise what it is going to look like and thus we can surmise we can surmise and thus we can plan and develop technologies accordingly to conclude ex machina is the case in point of a movie that is a great piece of art and by the same token a harrowing good word deterrent that puts people off contemporary technological progress in my opinion it would be advisable not to judge harshly the prospects of scientific advances by such films by so in my opinion it would it would be advisable not to judge not to ha not to to judge harshly uh, then not to harshly judge the prospects of scientific advances um based on such films 
Okay. Um, this is pretty good, Vyacheslav. You ought to be happy with it. Um, okay, so I just want to check the... You should also consider how important it is for films set in the future to say something about contemporary society. Mm. Okay, you do do that as well, I guess. Okay, so let's see. Let, let, let's mark. Um, the English is good. The writing is good. It's, it, it, it's pretty, pretty, mm, it, it feels quite natural. It's missing natura, bit, this naturalness in a few places, but it's not bad. So, you completed the task well, definitely. You've met all the task criteria and included all the necessary information, probably. So, out of five, content. Uh, three out of five. Communicative achievement. The writing is appropriate for the task. You use the right style and register for the genre. Um, definitely four out of five. Organization. The writing is coherently organized. Yes. Um, ideas are prioritized and logically ordered. Good. Um... I think maybe with formality, you're close with formality, although one or two words go under formality for what you've chosen, but it, it's certainly okay. Let's figure out and try to decide what we what can be learned for it. Um, organization, four. Language, four out of five. Uh, language, there's a good range of vocabulary and, and, la and grammar, definitely. There are very few mistakes which I, I like very much. The text is not confusing in any way, it's very clear. Four out of five. Um, this is a good essay. What am I going to give it all uh, overall? I would say mm, this is a B plus, A minus. This is. It, it's not bad, it reads quite well. I think I'm going to go for an for an A minus. It's, it, it's certainly a good a good essay. Well done. Be be happy with the work you've done. Congratulations. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating. Subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.